Hi guys, this is Steve Good at the Scroll Saw Workshop. Please visit my blog at scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com uh, where you can find uh, scroll saw patterns, scroll saw tutorials, and uh, reviews and all things scroll saw. Today what I want to talk about in this video is to add another tool to your tool belt of using Corel Draw uh, to create scroll saw patterns uh, for you to cut out. And the tool we're going to look at today and study a little bit is the envelope tool. Now this tool is very easy to use once you understand uh, the concept behind it. Uh, it's a little confusing to some people when they first start just simply because they don't know the order in which to do things. Now what I'm going to try to do today, and uh, you can use your imagination and let it run wild with this, but what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to take a word, in this case my name, Steve, and I'm going to put it inside a circle and in this case I made either an ornament or you could shrink this down and make a keychain uh, pretty much let your imagination run wild with what you could do with this so I'm going to take you through the steps and again it's very simple to create this little ornament right here and uh, with the envelope tool so the first thing we need to do is get our shape on the screen now what I'm going to do is use a perfect circle so I've selected my circle tool I'm going to hold down the control key to make it a perfect circle and I'm going to draw out this circle. It doesn't matter how big it is right now, we can resize it later. So now we've got the shape on the screen that we want and next we need to get the text on the screen. So I'm going to select the text tool and type my name in in uppercase in a fairly large font size. In this case I'm using 150 points. And we've got our name on the screen. Now the, the goal is to take this name and put it inside the circle and make it fit. And to do that, we're going to use the envelope tool. And to get to this tool, and this is it over here, I've got it open in one of my dockers, you will go to Window, Dockers, and then pull down to the envelope tool, or you can select Control F7 to bring it up also. So in this case, I've already got it up, and this is a tool we'll use to fit this text inside this circle. If you look down here, you've got a couple of selections, and you can play with these to get different effects. But to do what we're doing today, I have this set to this drop down right here set to vertical. I've got uh, keep lines unchecked, and I have the uh, unconstrained select over here on this button right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this little eyedropper tool named the Create From tool, and we're going to click on it. And as I move my mouse back over into the screen, you'll see I have this large black arrow that I can use as my pointing device. And also, if you can see it, it's put a bounding box around the name that we had selected. So what I'm going to do is go down to the circle, and I'm going to click on that circle. And now it took that bounding box that was around the name, and if you can see this blue bounding box right here, it turned that bounding box into a circle around the center of the name. Now just as simple as that, all we have to do is go back over to our envelope docker and we have the apply button right here. As soon as we click apply, it's going to deform that name into the shape of that circle. So there we have the inside of the ornament slash keychain that we're wishing to create already made for us. So now what we need to do is get this name inside the circle and get it all welded up into one ornament. So go back up here to your pick tool come down and select your circle and now we're going to go use another tool and we've talked about this tool before so I won't go into it with much detail but uh, I'll just kind of go through it kind of slowly to give you an idea of what I'm doing with the circle selected come over here to the and hold down on your mouse and go to the interactive contour tool looks like a series of boxes inside each other so once you get the interactive contour tool selected You'll notice up here in your menus that you have uh, your inside, outside, and to center. And we want inside selected right here. We want the steps, contour steps, set to 1. And this is when we're going to set the uh, actual offset of the contour. And in this case, I'm going to click on this up arrow, and it ended up, in this case, ended up being 0.15. But you can make this whatever size is comfortable for the pattern you're making. So now we have a contour circle inside this outer circle. Now what we want to do is we want to make these two circles two separate 
uh, objects, and right now they're one object. It's just a contour line inside a circle. So the and you'll see why here in a minute. So what we want to do is with this selected, go up to the Arrange menu item and pull down to Break Contour Group Apart. And you won't see any changes down here, but a change did happen. We actually have uh, two different objects right now. And if I color these in, you can see that the center part is gray and the circle we want to put this word in is also gray. So the next thing we have to do is with the selected, come up to your pick tool and select both of these objects again. Then you'll see that your shaping menu bar comes up up here. And what we want to do is we want to remove this inner circle from the outer circle. So we just have an, an oval right here that we can fit this word in. So if we go up here to our shaping tools, we'll see that this one right here is called back minus front. And our larger windows in the back, our larger circles in the back, and the smaller circles in the front. So what we're going to do, and let me go ahead and deselect these for a second and just select the inner one so you can see. Now I've made the, uh, the front circle, the smaller one, green, and the back circle gray. So you can see we have this green smaller circle setting inside the larger gray circle. And now I can take, and take my pick tool and drag around both of those to select both of them. And what we're going to do with this button right here is remove the green circle from the gray circle. And when I click it, you'll see what I'm talking about. So now the green has disappeared, and we actually have just an oval here uh, that we can use to put this word into. So now with this selected, I'm going to press the P key on the keyboard. That's P as in Paul. And what the P key shortcut does is actually centers an object on the the window that we're in. So I'm going to select the circle, hit the P key, and let it center it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to get these two objects centered exactly together. I'm going to go ahead and select the Steve and hit the P key, and you can see that centered the Steve inside the circle. Now take the mouse with the pick tool selected, draw a lasso around both of them, and now we've got both of those objects selected, and you can see our shape tools are back up here again. And this time I'm going to click on the weld shape icon and what that will do is it will weld this inner Steve to the outer circle so I'm going to click weld with both of them selected and you can see now we have a welded object with the circle and the Steve all one object and I'm going to make this a little bigger in case you can't see it on this video very well so that's what we have right now and now it's just a simple matter of adding our uh, little loop at the top to hang it on so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select my circle tool again Hold down the control key, make a smaller circle. I'm going to go through the same steps I did earlier. Interactive contour tool. I'm going to go up here and make sure inside selected. Steps of one. I'm going to set the inside of this circle to, to 0.15 or just whatever size you like. With that selected, I'm going to go to arrange, break contour group apart. That created two different shapes, again, like we did earlier with the green minus the gray. That will bring up our shaping tools again. I'm going to do front minus back. And now when I go over here and select a color, you'll see that it actually created the same thing we did with this outer circle. Now with this centered, by pressing the P key, I'm also going to select this and press P to get it in the center of the object. I'm going to use the up arrow key to move that up to approximately where we want to put it. And we'll say right there is good. Now I'm going to select both of those objects again with my pick tool. I'm going to surround both of those objects. And that again will bring up my shape tools. And I'm going to use the weld icon to weld this small circle on top of this larger circle. When I select weld, you can see now what we have is just what we were trying to accomplish. We've got the name inside this circle. In this case, I've got it fairly large. It would, you know, it would probably be a large ornament at this, at this point. But we can select it and make it any size we want. We could make it you know, down to that size, and we could use it as an ornament of some type, or maybe in a mobile, or you know, your imagination could run wild. Or if you want to cut out a smaller pattern, you could shape it down to that, uh, size it down to that, and it might make a nice little keychain. You might want to make your loop just a little bigger, but uh, anyway, a keychain. So there's another tool you can put in your tool belt of Corel Draw, uh, give you a chance to uh, work on a little different type of project there. Uh, they're they're very easy to make. Uh, everybody likes to see their name in wood, so they're nice little uh, projects that you can give as gifts or. Uh, depending on what you're doing, maybe you're using a Christmas ornament and you could put, you know, different Christmas sayings or different holiday sayings inside this. It doesn't work very well with uh, if you try to get too many letters in there. And I've found that five to six letters is about as many as you can get in there with 
before it starts to become jumbled. Now, the other thing that you have to realize is you do not have to use a circle as your shape. Any shape you can get on the screen, you can use this envelope tool to fill the text inside that shape. So if you think about that a little while, your imagination will start to work and you'll come up with several more ideas. Okay, there's your tool of the day. Uh, give it a try. I know several of you out there have told me you went out and bought Corel Draw, so I wanted to put up another video for you guys that have taken the time and spent the money to go get it. So there's another one for you to use. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.